So with that done, so we, we have our axial force diagram with the known values uh, done up. We can now go on to calculate the stresses in the two components, AC and CB, as requested in Part C. So I've labeled the stresses. Of course, our formula for stress is the stress between A and C is equal to the internal load, so PAC divided by the area of AC. We get the PAC off our axial force diagram. Okay, we see that it is 35.9 kilonewtons, or I'll put that in as 35,900 newtons, divided by the area, which is 216 millimeters squared. Calculate that out, we get 166 megapascals, and it's positive, and that's in tension. And so that would be the internal axial stress in the uh, hollow shaft, AC. Now we're going to calculate the stress CB. Again, the load CB divided by the area CB. The load, we look to our axial force diagram, see that it is 64.1 kilonewtons or 64,100 newtons. And divide by the area, which is 314 millimeters squared, and gives us a stress of negative 204.1 megapascals, and identify that as compression. So the last thing to do is to figure out what the displacement is really at C, or the displacement between AC, which is going to be the negative of the displacement between CB. So we can figure out the displacement at C, which is equal to the displacement between A and C, because A is at zero. And we're using the equation again from the, the previous section, and that's the load AC L A C E A C A A C. Only in this instance, we know what that force is, which is 35,900 newtons. The length over which it's applied is 600 millimeters off the schematic. The modulus for the magnesium is 44,700 700 MPa. And the area over which it's applied, 216 millimeters squared. We calculate that out and it comes to 2.23 millimeters which, because it's in tension, is an elongation. I'm going to go up here, grab this, and say 2.23 millimeters. So that uh, 2.23 uh, millimeters between A and C, uh, you can see it on the diagram, is also equal to the negative 2.23 millimeters that you would get shortening between C and B. And you can go ahead and calculate that, and uh, you would see that that works out and it would bring you back to zero. And that's the compatibility which allowed us to solve the problem.